In this video, let's take a closer look at how texture synthesis works in Genetica. Start a new document, and from the Advanced Nodes category, drag in a synthesis node. Then click Edit. For quick results, we could use these presets. Instead, let's jump into the Edit tab where all the advanced options are. I'll go through a series of examples that all take place in this area. After each example, reset the texture by clicking Clear, and then Add. OK, to get started, click Select Image, and from the Wood category, I'm going to select Flaky Bark 2. We see here the texture that it creates by default, and it's a pretty good one. But to understand what's going on, let's turn off all the options that are on by default. So I'm going to turn off Feather, I'm going to turn off Jitter Shape, and I'm going to turn off Equalize Brightness. Now I specifically picked this photo because it's very bright in the center compared to how dark it is in the edges, and this is a very common problem of texture photos. And we see how that problem results in these large brightness jumps in the texture. And it's the job of equalized brightness to fix that. If I turn that on, you can see how that problem goes away and we can fine-tune it with the Equalize Strength slider. As I increase that, the lighting is evened out even more. Now there is a trade-off here. If you put Equalize Strength too high, eventually all the depth of the texture is sucked out of it. So the goal is to put this slider just high enough to get the job done, but no higher than is needed. Now the other problem is that there are all these straight lines going to the texture. The texture is based on this rectangular patch. At any time we could switch to the edit tool and add points like I'm doing here and make the shape more complicated. You can see that I added some angles here so it broke up the lines a little bit. But there's no need to go through all that work that's the job of the jitter shape slider. As I put this up, you can see that's automatically complicated the outline. That will become a lot more clear if I temporarily turn off equalized brightness. And you can see how nice it's made that outline. You can also tweak that outline with the jitter frequency slider. So if I turn that down, now it's jittering it with a lower frequency noise. I'll put that up a little bit. And I'll turn Equalize Brightness back on. And the remaining problem is you don't want any sharp edges in your texture, and you can fix that just by putting up Feather a couple notches. And now we're left with a texture that looks more or less like what we started with. If it's a little too washed out for your liking, the contrast and saturation sliders are up here to punch it up a little bit. Now some photographs are easier to make seamless than other ones, so this time let's pick a more challenging photo. In the metal category, I'm going to pick manhole cover close-up. We can see how the original photo has a lot of parallel lines in it, but these lines are completely broken up in this texture. Again, this has to do with the default settings. These are settings that will be great for most photographs, but in this particular case, it's not what we want. So let's focus on the Auto section. This section has all the options that have to do with the automatic placement of patches. Specifically, 
the jitter angle slider is what we want to focus on. If I increase that, you can see how the random orientations go completely crazy. So let's turn that off. Jitter scale is another one of interest. If I increase that, you can see that in some places the lines get really big, while in other places they get really small. That's another thing we don't want in this case, so I'll turn that off. And now the texture is looking a lot more natural, although I do see that random luck has caused this diagonal line to appear through it. At any point, you can completely re-randomize a texture by changing seed, so I'm just going to put that to a new value. And now the diagonal line is gone. For this next example, I'm going to pick the glass marbles photo from the miscellaneous category. But if for any of these examples you want to try a photo from your own collection, you can select it through the Import tab. We can see that the default rectangular patch won't work with this photo as well as it did for the other ones. Let's select individual marbles instead. In this case, I won't be able to select marbles if it keeps complicating my outline that way. So I'll turn off feathering and shape jittering. I won't be able to make an accurate selection with such a small control, so I'll click Edit Full Size. Let's take a little peek. Looks pretty good. I'll select another marble now. Normally I'd keep going and select some more of these marbles, but this is enough for this example. There's no point in equalizing brightness if we'll be placing individual marbles in this way, so I'll turn that off. In the Auto section, I can increase placement frequency in order to cover the entire texture. In the Color section, I can increase Jitter Hue to give the marbles random colors. If I want one marble to appear more often than another one, I can adjust the relative placement frequencies here. In the Manual section, we can place patches individually. This is especially useful if you want to cover up a part of a texture that didn't come out well. If you only want manual patches to appear, you can turn automatic patches off completely. In the Floor and Wall section and the Brick subsection, select Basket Weave Bricks. A repeating pattern like this can't be synthesized by random patches, so we'll change the layer type to repeating pattern. This layer type lets us help Genetica do its job by telling it where the repetitions are. I see two repetitions of the basket weave pattern. One here, and one here.
Genetica automatically straightened the photo for us and made it seamless. Notice how Genetica has preserved the bricks in sets of eight, just like we specified. Alternatively, we could direct Genetica to ignore the basket weave pattern by specifying a tighter set of repetition points. Now the bricks are placed randomly in sets of two while ignoring the basket weave pattern. And that concludes our overview of texture synthesis in Genetica. For more information, visit us at www.spiralgraphics.biz.